Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. I'm Lindsay and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We're about faith, family, and following Jesus and we hope you'll join us for the rest of the journey. We are just finishing up a week in Florida and we want to share with you some of our experiences and some of our thoughts from the road. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? I'm gonna step in the van. This is the only quiet spot I can find right now. And this is our first week on the road without any singing program. So we have really, really enjoyed some downtime. So I'm gonna have the boys highlight some of their favorite things from our time in Florida. We spent most of our time on the Atlantic coast in St. Augustine. Mom and dad found a really neat RV park with a pool but we mostly enjoyed playing in the ocean, even though it was cold. The little guys enjoyed playing in the sand and finding shells. One day we went to a giant alligator farm. There were alligators and crocodiles everywhere. They also had snakes, lizards, monkeys, and birds. We had a lot of fun times together. And that leads us to this morning. We are packing up, and ready to hit the road. We do this every other day, and I thought it might be interesting for you to see what it takes for us to get rolling down the road. Force is gonna walk us through our RV moving process. This is how we put the slide out in. And now we're gonna put down the top. One of my favorite parts is hooking and unhooking the power. This is the yucky part. We gotta dump our holding tanks. We unhooked our water and this is where we store all our hoses. I'm putting up the stabilizer. What is it? <laughs> stabilizer? Stabilizers. Yeah. <laughs> This is a locking wheel shock. Make sure the camper doesn't roll away. So we're hitching up and getting ready to go, and the first thing you have to do is just jack it up and try to get the van centered underneath the ball. The stabilizer bars help distribute the weight between the camper and the van. And flip it up. Nice. Now we're gonna attach the safety chain to the van. And what's this red cord for? It pulls a little switch that puts on the camper brakes in case our van gets disconnected. That one is for the trailer lights. And the last thing is we can't forget the bikes. Don't forget to put up the steps. <laughs> okay, run in the van. Okay, we made it to Georgia, and the boys are just getting set up behind me. And um, we thought we'd just give you a short glimpse of one of our music programs here. Enjoy. I'm Forrest, and I'm 10. I'm Joseph, and I'm 7. I'm Ezra, and I'm 5. That's Ezra. I'm 5, and I'm 3. That's Silas. How many of you have seen any of our YouTube videos? Oh boy. <laughs> It's slightly frightening because, you know, on YouTube we have the ability to edit and really polish and produce uh, what we do, and today you're going to get the raw, unedited version. We did not come here to perform for you today. We did not come here for your offering. We did not come here to sell you CDs. We came here to worship with you because God is good and Jesus is King. Follow after me into the kingdom. 
Okay, so here we are. We're just finishing up our program in Montezuma, Georgia with a very lovely church. And I wanted them all to say hello to you. Say hello, Montezuma. Hello. <laughs> I kind of conned them into that a little bit. But anyway, I'll be right with you after we're finished here. And we have some more to share with you about our trip. So thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> So we are here at a coffee shop, just kind of enjoying some downtime. Again, another busy week. Being at the ocean was a really nice treat, I think, for all of us. Just to be in the presence of God's grandiose creation and experience the vastness of the ocean just causes me to just be in awe of the power of God and just how we should fear Him. And all of His creation just speaks of His glory. So that was, that was a reflection that I was having. And then there's what man has done to the beach. Yeah, that's the sad thing. That's the, we enjoy it for what it is. It's just hard to find a place to get away and actually rest and relax. But we did our best. So as we look forward to the next couple of weeks of our trip, we are headed northbound. We hope to be home back in North Carolina by the middle of February. But before we go there, we've got to go to jail going to prison and there's only one explanation for that which we will tell you about in next week's video so we hope to see you there until then we love you guys god bless you we'll see you next time <laughs>